Number 9, Iran. While Iran's visa process may seem confusing and complicated to visitors, the country is actively working towards a simplified process. Travelers from Armenia, Azerbaijan, Bolivia, Georgia, Malaysia, Syria, Turkey, and Venezuela are eligible for free visas, as are travelers of any nationality who plan on entering from and remaining in Kish Island. Most travelers are eligible for a VOA, or visa on arrival. This, however, excludes Canada, the United Kingdom, the United States, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Colombia, India, Iraq, Jordan, Nepal, Pakistan, Somalia, and Sri Lanka, and travelers who have visited Israel within the last six months will likely not be granted entry. For a VOA, travelers need evidence of a hotel reservation, a host contact, cash to pay for the visa, and travel insurance. In order to apply for an Iranian visa in advance, travelers will need to obtain a visa code from a tour operator. This code is only valid for one month, and travelers will need to work quickly in order to secure their visa. Number 8, Turkmenistan. While many visa applications require a letter of invitation, Turkmenistan takes it one step further, travelers must have a letter of invitation in order to apply for a visa. While the application process isn't especially taxing beyond that, there are strict rules in place for visitors once they arrive in the country. Travelers must fill out an immigration card upon arrival, and are required to register with the State Service of Turkmenistan for the registration of foreign nationals within three days of their arrival. Number 7, Nigeria. Nigeria is a culturally rich country with much to offer travelers, that is, provided they don't drown in paperwork before they can get a visa. In order to apply for a tourist visa, travelers need a letter of invitation from their host, a confirmed hotel reservation, a valid return airline ticket, evidence of funds to cover their stay in Nigeria, and proof of legal residency. Number 6, Pakistan. In order to qualify for a visa to Pakistan, travelers must first find a sponsor. While this can be a person the traveler knows in the country, it can also be a tour company, great news for travelers looking to explore on a group tour. The sponsor must provide an official letter of invitation, explaining their relationship to you and the purpose of travel. You'll also need copies of all your ID, proof of travel arrangements, and a completed visa application. Number 5, Bhutan. Bhutan is one of the most interesting, and most coveted destinations to visit. The only way to visit Bhutan is through an all-inclusive package, booked through a Bhutanese travel agent, and getting a visa is not as easy as applying for it online, and going there independently. At the same time, you're supporting highly sustainable tourism and you won't have to do much to plan your trip, as each package costs about $200 to $300 USD per day, which includes accommodations, transport, guides and meals. Number 4, Saudi Arabia. Despite its glorious shopping experiences, modern cities, and sparkling beaches, Saudi Arabia is still incredibly strict with its visa entry processes. Women traveling solo, for example, must have a sponsor who will be responsible for meeting them upon arrival. The sponsor is also required to hold their passport while in Saudi Arabia. 
couples traveling together are expected to be married. Without a sponsor or a marriage certificate, applications might be denied. You should also know that if you have an Israeli stamp on your passport, you might be refused entry. As long as you abide by these rules, the visa application itself isn't too bad. Number 3, Russia. Even the world's most powerful passports are no match for Russian visa requirements. Russia doesn't give away visa-free travel that easily, even the top 10 most powerful passports in the world still need a visa to enter. Plus, the process itself is incredibly long. Be prepared to list the starting and finishing dates for every trip taken in the last 10 years, and that's just the beginning. All visa applications for Russia have to be made in person, thanks to the nation's biometric system. You will have to get your fingerprints scanned and have your photo taken. This means you will have to visit the closest visa processing center to you. You must also make sure that the online form is filled out without mistakes as this might lead to a rejected application. Once you've received your visa from the consulate, make sure you cross-check every detail on your visa to make sure the dates align with your travel plans. Number 2, China. You might be surprised to find that a trip to China involves such a lengthy visa process. While many passport holders can travel to China visa-free for a period of 72 hours, a longer stay requires a proper visa. This can be incredibly tedious to obtain. You can only apply for a visa in your country of residence or citizenship, and you must schedule a face-to-face -face appointment in order to submit your application. Make sure you come prepared, as there's also a long list of documents you need to gather for your application. This includes documents such as hotel vouchers or a flight itinerary to prove that your intentions match your travel plans. You will also need to show a daily itinerary if you are staying longer than 30 days. Most importantly, this visa can take a while to be processed and we suggest you apply at least 2 to 3 months before your trip. Number 1, North Korea. It's hard to deny the appeal of the notoriously veiled North Korea. Naturally, curious travelers from across the world are eager to learn more about this fascinating country. Getting into North Korea, however, is difficult. The only way to gain access to North Korea is through an organized tour crossing from China. While on these tours, interactions with locals are limited and strict rules must be adhered to. Also, you must not speak ill of their leader, just don't even think about it. Smuggling your way to North Korea through any illegal secret channels is highly dangerous, and independent travel is a massive no. Furthermore, citizens from the US and the UK might have a harder time obtaining entry so keep this in mind when planning your trip. As these entry requirements are subject to change, make sure you check with your local embassy before you go.